Stop! Stop updating the draft! Oh! Article published, scheduled for April 14, 20... Oh my god, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Do we need to tell her? We know it. Do we have to put it in and waste 10 minutes telling her? Uh, it's probably better for Ample for to know. Just in case if she wants to plan anything. This must be the provocation he spoke about. Whatever our course of action is, we need to take it before 6 p.m. Yes. So now she knows, and it's like, oh my god. Ah, we have so many objectives, but I don't think we can do all of them. We have to focus on either Ilya or Karen. How do I verify Ilya's goddamn alibi? <laughs> ah! Inconsistencies about the National Army veteran. Okay, let me just read everything again, okay? Just... Oh, there's so many chunks. One of these chunks has to give me something. Okay, I've had a look at all the chunks we have right now, and I honestly don't feel really strongly about any chunk we have left. But I'm guessing some chunk here is gonna give us related documents, so... We're just gonna have to start throwing them in. In what order? Um... Well, I don't think this is super relevant, but I don't know why they want me to put in that Matthew is Ilya's supervisor. Why not? Why not? Maybe it's gonna be like the whole Roland situation again. He ends up being super important. Nope. It's not the case. <laughs> Useless chunk. This one... Mm, I don't like this one. I don't like it. It's very loaded. But what else can we put? I really don't think this is gonna prove that he was on a date, because it doesn't. It just says that he didn't go to work. But at this point... Oh, let's just... Uh, I don't want to try it though. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. We need to find that information on Singular. But how do we get access to Singular? That's sort of the puzzle here too. I guess I'll put in the salary. Pretty meager if you ask me. This is definitely not how he made enough money to start over. There must be more than that. Ah, it's not it. We already solved that branch. Oh god, what am I looking for here? We don't even know what this is conflicting with. Yeah. Okay, well. Well, well, well. I am so scared of putting in anything right now, but... Do we have to be that scared? Maybe not that scared. I want to focus on Ilya though, because for Karen, I, I'm really not too sure where to start at all. Yeah. Holy crap, I gotta, I gotta make a decision here. Him being single! I really don't think it's relevant! Ah! We're missing something. Something. Oh, maybe it's with the search engines. Can we find more pictures? I think we have, um, oh, we have Karen's home address now. That could be... I mean, we could find pictures there, couldn't we? We don't even have a picture for Karen herself. Please. Oh, <gasps> yes! We look genuinely happy. The perfect couple. Finally moving in together. Life was simply wonderful, and it seemed as if it couldn't get any better. Was it true? Mm, she sounds unhappy. He always used to tease me when I was on the phone. He hasn't done that for a long time. Phone- Oh my god, her phone number! Put it in here. Right now. Maybe we can find Singular on her phone. Yes, we're finally moving somewhere. Excellent. Yes. Never managed to get him away from this place. I don't think he even noticed me taking this picture. Yeah, that's just pictures from their house. But I, I think it's becoming increasingly obvious that she does not sound happy. No, 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 not at all. No singular, really? Contacts? Ilya's phone? 
Do we not have Ilya's phone number already? Did we not have that? Oh, we got his work phone. Okay, take it. Singular! Singular! Let's hear what Ilya has to say. Do we have it? I think so. Let me keep looking at... Karen's phone first. And... random crap. Can't tell who's relevant. No. Okay, her calendar, brunch with Melissa, patient session with Sophia Radic on April 10th. Is April 10th even relevant to us? Because we started on April 13th. Patient session with Alexei Kovacci on April 12th. Oh! What? Oh my god. It's weird that she put it in a patient session, but okay. So on April 13th, Ilya and Karen were together. Okay. Why have a session with an inactive patient? There is something not quite right here. Mm. Sky chat. Hey, my love. Hello, dear. I'm super busy right now. Can't really text. I'll catch up with you later. Love you. April 13th, yesterday. Bill. Yesterday, yesterday. Are you awake? I need your help. Think I'm having a panic attack. Can't breathe. Okay, I'm here for you, Bill. Are you alone? No, but I can't wake up my wife. What should I do? Everything is going to be fine, Bill. Think of what we talked about. This is a temporary condition, and there's nothing to be afraid of. This will pass. I know this is very hard, but try to breathe slowly and consistently. Four seconds in, four seconds out, just like we practiced. It's not working. I'm so scared. Please help me. Count to four, Bill. Breathe in and out, and in and out, just like we practiced. Are you still there? Do you want me to call you, Bill? No, my wife will hear it. I think it's getting a little better now. Try to think of something soothing. I know this might sound generic, but try to think of a place where you felt really safe. We'll have to talk about this in our next session, but this can really help. Yes, I think I already feel a bit better now. Gosh, I feel so stupid. It really helps to chat with you though. Thank you so much. You are a real lifesaver. Don't feel stupid. Everything is going to be okay. In case the feeling comes back, you can also contact me via my UTEL, Karen Levine. Thank you. She's really nice to be giving out her personal information like this, because having no divide between your personal work and patients is potentially very dangerous. You tell, are you going to have juicy conversations with Ilya here? Because I'm pretty sure at this point, I think we can already confirm that Ilya is probably, or Karen, I guess. Karen is the one having an affair with Ilya. I feel like we already verified the date, okay? <laughs> it's just that we haven't been able to prove that they are on the date yet. This is... Karen and Molly. The session didn't go too well today. Is there something you'd like to get off your chest? I just have a lot on my mind right now. I understand. I was honestly hoping you'd let me help you a bit more for once. You can't help me. You know that's not true. I have dealt with a lot of cases. Many of them were war veterans like you, even if they weren't dishonorably discharged. You have no idea. Wait, Molly? Is that somebody from the first season? Was that the mother? But this is probably the person that Karen spends a lot of time on. The her. Yeah. Okay, if we keep going down this path, it's probably going to lead into Karen's stuff. I have a lot more information on Ilya though, and in the interest of time constraints, I think we might want to just read this first. Looking forward to our session on the 13th. Would be great to catch up on how things are going for you lately. You sure? I can only meet super late. Need to work beforehand. That's no problem. Uh, whatever. Hmm. 13th. Wait. 13th? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Desktop? 
Oh my god, I shouldn't have put this one in so fast, because I think she was filing Molly under Ilya for whatever reason. Why hide it? Is this person the one she's having an affair with? But Ilya had a picture of Karen on his PC as well. That's certainly the veteran though, Molly. Hey there. We're happy to confirm that your friend, Damn Good Coffee, has accepted your promotional code for Singular. Okay, that's gotta be Ilya. Thank you. Yes! Finally! The Singular account! I've been looking for you for a while. Hey, you. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to see whether the website I set up for you is still running? Oh, has a private website. That's why he was messing with the, the stuff on his computer. Yeah, all good. Guess I totally forgot to even thank you for it. How about catching up for a coffee sometime? Great to hear it's all good. You don't need to thank me. Come on, Elia. It's the least I can do. Well, I won't say no then. Maybe we can also go for a round of HOB if you like? Sure thing. Hey. Elia, not here, okay? Okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, something happened between March 20th and April 2nd. They went for a round of HOB, all right. Okay, the website I set up for you has a private website. We know what this is. It's her counseling website. Uh, gonna not put that in for now. Aww, it's her patients, the refugees. Wait, who is this? Rita's new glasses? Huh, okay. Not too much on her phone, all things considered. Irregularities. From Ilya to Unknown. Dear Mr. McGuire, please find my written statement below as requested. I arrived at work early yesterday afternoon, around 3.31 p.m. Soon after my arrival, I noticed I had left my security card at home, so in absence of Mr. Bugia, oh, his supervisor, I decided to inform my colleague, Mr. Ellison, about it. Mr. Ellison assured me I would be totally fine despite being unable to log in properly, and that he would get the matter sorted for me. During the entire shift starting at 4 p.m., I was working on maintaining the assigned technical instruments in section A through G, until I finally finished up and left around 11.22 p.m. Hmm, and got home, where I still am. Apart from the missing security card, there were no unusual events. I did not even see anybody in the labs, and I am sure I wasn't seen by anyone else either. In short, I was at work on Thursday as planned, and I have been the entire shift on my own. Yeah. Mr. Ellison will gladly confirm the statement. Yeah, but we know that Mr. Ellison is willing to say whatever you want him to say, so... Whatever, that's fake. What was the other conflicting one? Oh, we don't know what it conflicts with, okay. Back here. Damn good coffee's profile! Oh yeah, hot pick, huh? Actually, I really think this picture is better. But okay, you do you. Oh yeah, that's that's very relevant. <laughs> oh, I'm athletic. I have a pretty good diet. I drink a little, don't smoke. Only work-related drugs. Aw, okay, that's actually kind of cute. <laughs> Likes gaming, golf, writing, whiskey. Doesn't like smoking. Opinionated know-it-alls. Sounds like your brother. <laughs> I work for a big pharmaceutical company, and I enjoy blowing off steam with my PlayStation on the weekend. Occasional writer, and explorer of cities. People have been looking here. It's a good day to fall in love. My opinions? I look for true love. I do not look for fidelity. <laughs> I look for social connection. I look for humor. I want my relationship to last forever. <laughs> Would you consider allowing your partner seeing other people? No. Oh. Would you consider dating someone who does not want or dislikes children? Yes. What cities would you go on a vacation at? Cities? Cultural hotspots? Not interested in politics at all. Interesting. Caprison. If you turn a left-handed glove inside out, it fits the right hand? Does it? I guess so. Sure. <laughs> Not anything crazy here. Conversations, come on. Give me something here. April 13th. 
with Laura Lama. How you doing, cutie? Wasn't much on your profile, but you look so hot. So I needed to message you right away, lol. So I'm Laura, and right now, I'm just looking for someone to go to the movies with and maybe snuggle up to at night. Why didn't you hit me back, cutie? Hi, Laura. I don't know how to respond to this, so I guess I won't. I'm not sure why you thought that me being a cutie was enough, but it really wasn't. Better luck next time. Astro Jess, 95% match! Hi damn good coffee. There's not a lot to go on from what little is on your profile, but for some reason, Singular thinks will be a good match, so I'm gonna go for it. What are your favorite games to blow off some steam with? Right now, I'm trying to play through Dash Iguana Perfectly Sane Trilogy, but it's just so much harder than the originals. No matter how hard I try, I keep falling down the pits and dying over and over again. I also spend some time with Don't Starve, which is really cool. But I barely make it past the first few days. Same. Anyway, hope to hear from you soon. Hey Astro Jess, I've been stalking the fields looking for robot dinosaurs in that game Skyline Infinite Dawns. I'm usually not into those crafting survival games, but there's something I find quite romantic about leaving society behind and trying to make do with nothing but your wits, some twigs, and some hope. Haven't checked out Dash yet, the reviews have me sitting on the fence. I haven't had a chance to check out Skyline yet, but the videos have me intrigued. Might pick it up during the next sale. So what do you do for work? Right now, I'm about to start my dream job. I was accepted to become a trainee train driver, which is super exciting. Soon I'll be carrying passengers all across the nation and who knows, beyond. It's all very exciting, but also a little daunting. Trainee train driver? That sounds like a lot of responsibility, but that is fantastic that you have pursued your lifelong dream. I work for a leading pharmaceutical company. Not entirely exciting, but pays the bills. He's privacy conscious. He doesn't say Watergate right away. Everyone needs medicine, right? Being from Bonton, I'm guessing you're at Watergate, is that correct? Yeah, Watergate, you're right. But I'd rather not talk about it. Don't exactly enjoy working there. Eh, not a secret. Sorry, I totally get that. Forget I said anything. So, what are your plans for the weekend? Maybe we can meet for coffee? Damn good coffee? I'm working, maybe some other time. That's cool, I understand. Hey, how was your weekend? Mine was pretty hectic. A friend of mine dragged me to Bonton to see the Targets play a show, but they never turned up. The next day, we heard that the band called it quits, but didn't bother to tell the venue or any of their fans. The rumor mill has been swirling, but at least there was a support act, I guess. Well, that sounds like a mess. I just worked. Nothing exciting. You sound a little down? How about that coffee sometime this week? I'd really like to meet you. Not sure if I can. I'm a little busy. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you just message me if you change your mind. He was into the conversation in the beginning, but then it just kind of tapered off. For who knows why. There's no dates here, so we don't really know. Mary P, 35%. Ooh. What? I can't believe we're doing this, dating and all. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't believe we're doing this, dating and all. What can I say? I haven't stopped thinking about that magical evening we had the other week at the hotel. The hotel that was in Ilya's bank account, that he paid $70 for? I haven't either. Although I must admit I'm a bit on edge. Are you sure this is a good idea? Do you recognize the picture, by the way? It was from... Karen's phone. Calm down, Ilya. Everything is going to be alright. Nothing bad will come your way. I'll make sure of it. I've been doing a lot of thinking. My brother's reach seems to grow stronger and stronger each day, as do his crackpot theories about who are wronging him, who is watching him, and who conspires with whom to ruin either Parge's or his reputation. I can't even take a goddamn piss without him timing me these days, or at least, that's what it's beginning to feel like. I don't know how much longer I can stand this. Is this loyal to his brother? Eh, I think he loves his brother, but maybe just not everything he does. These are very... very radical, like very one-sided chunks. I don't like either of them. Well, perhaps a bit more distance between you and him could be helpful. You told me you've been writing a lot of articles for him lately. You're right. Back in the day, it was all for nobility, for a cause. Now it's just a mishmash of reasons, most of them I don't agree with. I don't think I can go on like this much longer. And I don't think we believe in the same cause anymore. 
It's okay to not believe in the same things as him. You have your own life, Ilya. You don't always have to stay the younger brother. It always makes me feel better to talk to you. I think I gotta see you again. Hmm, wanna meet again? How about Thursday? Of course I do, but another day? I have a late shift on April 13th. Thursday would be best. Can't you swap shifts with someone? Been doing it too often lately, but I'll figure something out. Great, looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. So, I hope you don't regret spending April 13th with me instead of your late shift. Boom, finally got it. Wait, what is that conflicting with? Hold on. Thanks for the lovely evening yesterday and the amazing night. Likewise, being with you is... I don't know what to say. Amazing. Yeah, so it sounds like initially he was into this girl, but then this whole affair thing started. Okay, so what is this conflicting with? Oh, this one. Well, we know which one's the real one. Put it in. Stick it in right now. God damn! <laughs> so he was on a date at the time in question. This means Ilya is off our hook. We can't get him in for having been on a date. I think it would be wise to turn to Karen now and investigate her further. Oh, Ample Ford, I don't think we're done with Ilya and Karen just yet. How do we prove? Oh. This is- hey, this is awesome. Because we put in this one. We don't have to put in this one. Save 10 minutes of our time. Yeah, we gotta look at everything first before we impulsively enter things. Just like earlier when I accidentally entered the wrong patient session because I was too... Yeah, but they did actually meet. So I don't actually think that one's wrong. But how do I prove that Mary P is Karen? Hmm. Yeah, we got an alibi. That means Karen also has an alibi. Oh. Is that all I got here? Yeah, him being athletic, okay, that's not relevant. It's nice, but... I also don't care that he's heterosexual. His gaming... How do we... Hmm. Oh, the loyal or disloyal thing. That's probably something we also want to make a decision on. Well, he's saying it right here. This conversation was from, like, what, two days ago? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. Knowing this could prove valuable, although the fact alone probably won't help us. Oh, but we are already not chasing after Ilya, actually. Okay, forget about him for now. Forget about him. Okay, singular. We're out of here. Astro Jess? We don't care that he plays Horizon, no. And then... Oh, there's more? I don't want to talk about working at Watergate. We kind of know this. Sort of. Just from reading stuff, but it's not in Orwell. No. Okay. Well, well, forget about... Forget about Ilya for now. Back to... Karen. Did we have a Mary P here? Met with Ilya on April 13th. How do we get this to merge? How do we get it to merge? Come on. Come on. This picture. <laughs> Give it to me. Yeah. Oh, we have so many phone numbers here. What a wealth of information. Is this useful? I don't think so. These are just random people. Brunch with Melissa. Yeah. This is really weird though. Molly. Oh, so maybe she had a date with Ilya at nighttime, but then during the day, she was with Molly, because that's her job. Okay, that sort of makes sense. If we're looking into the war veteran, then we do have some information here. Yeah, about the National Army veteran. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Not Mary P. Not yet. Isn't that crazy? We still don't have a picture for her. Ah, Molly. 
That's at least a part of her name. Good work. Looking forward to our session on the 13th. Wait, on the evening? Wait, oh, there's news in the... Yeah, okay. Evening? What? I'm so can... Okay. As far as I understand it right now, Ilya and Karen are having an affair. And they met on the 13th. But why is she also meeting Molly on the 13th? During the evening. What's new? Nothing? Oh, headlines. Yeah, Cassandra's mom and dad. Being implicated. Fraud? Potential fraud? And corruption? The new Watergate scandal. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> okay, back to Karen's stuff here. Set up a website for Karen. Inconsistencies! Okay, so the- I guess the April 13th thing is an inconsistency, so we should just chuck it in here. Weird. Wait, the appointment she had scheduled at the time was with... Ilya. Karen had a session scheduled with Ilya at the time she was supposed to meet this Molly. That sure sounds like a cover. We need to find out whether there was a legal record of this Molly in Karen's files. If not, she will be in serious trouble. But I doubt you'll find anything with just Molly. We need a full name first. Ooh. Messaging. Karen and Molly. Where are you? Can you please get back to me? Hello? Oh, hey, Karen. What is it? We had a session scheduled for this morning, remember? I forgot. Sorry. Can we reschedule? You forgot? You can't just forget our sessions. This is serious. I had to work urgently at Circle Mall. It just came up. We've already rescheduled it before. Yeah, because you suddenly wanted to. I can't shift stuff around like you can. I have to take the work when it's on offer. Working again? How long this time? 10 hours? 12? What about your kid? He needs his mother. Listen. You don't have children. You have a good job. You have no idea what it's like. Zero. Don't you dare judge me again about not being there for my son. You're right. I don't know what it's like for you, sorry. But only because you're being so reclusive. You're pulling out of everything, slowly, steadily, stonewalling. It gives me nightmares because it's my duty to help and I can't fulfill it. We should sit down and talk about what's going on with your life for once. We did already. When I wrote you on that counseling website of yours, you said you were able to assist me. But nothing is different. Talk, talk, talk is all you do. And taking photos, even though I said no. Nothing gets any better through that. I'm done talking. Got work to do now. The counseling website is supposed to be anonymous though, so can we find her name there? So, no more sessions. Noted. And for the record, I'm not waiting for you to come back. Good. Huh, yet another hashtag trending. Someone has been busy. The people's silencing. Interesting that your wife is conducting private counseling sessions with the National Army veterans. Unofficially, because she is officially meeting your brother. Uh... Is someone hacking into Orwell? Why are they getting all this information that... That's weird. What else is she trying to hide? Or should I say, what are you? 
the people silencing. What the fuck? Didn't you say you were against the National Army? Don't listen to the trolls. I know that your wife is a good person and ready to help anyone, even the enemy. This has nothing to do with silencing anyone. I don't see what the fuss is about regarding... The hashtag. Raban didn't do anything wrong, and he's not responsible for his wife's secret meetings. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Um... Hold on. The phone call that we just got. The website was contacted by Molly through her private counseling website. Can we find it? Her own counseling website. This could mean Karen is moonlighting. We could be able to find that website, but we will need a bit more information on it yet. Yeah. We know that Ilya did it. We know that Ilya made the website. Karen having no children, I don't think that's necessary. Do we want to put in the fact that Karen and Ilya... Yes, the website. That's the same information though, for Karen. Oh, I hope it gets somewhere. So Ilya set up her website? We may very well be able to find some more information on it through Ilya's files then. Oh, well we already found it on his... Oh, god damn it. Did he update this or... Oh! Ah, oh, I didn't need to... Um, Could have just come here directly probably. Wasted 10 minutes. Okay, open Soteria. There we go. Open Soteria? <laughs> Good work, though. Seems not even her husband is aware of this little side business she's built up there. Oh, she calls herself Soteria here. Okay. Yeah, this is the website that Ilya built for Karen. So as I understand it, this is not part of her main job. Her main job is helping out with the refugees at the Rehabilitation Council. Is it particularly illegal, or is it just something she does because she's passionate about it? Hmm... She probably found Molly here because, uh, remember in the beginning, Ampleford said that deserters can't get benefits, so she must be helping her on the side via this website because regularly, at a regular job, she can't help Molly. I'm glad you found my website. I am a professional psychotherapist with a degree in psychology and medicine. Ah, that's not Ilya then. Oh, it's actually Karen, okay. I thought it might have been Ilya because Ilya knows a lot about drugs, so it didn't seem like it was too far-fetched that he would have a degree in medicine. I offer advice, mentoring, and support for victims of armed conflict, especially war escapees and refugees. Send me a personal message if you would like to talk about your experiences. She seems really compassionate. Maybe that's why she's so against Raban trying to, um, trying to stir shit up, so to say. It always helps to see that you are not alone with your experiences and feelings, knowing that others are struggling with similar issues. Read personal stories of people who contacted me here. All names mentioned below have been changed. All stories are published anonymously with the consent of the people affected. 27 from Triflith and Delka. My daughter stopped talking. I am a Pargesian refugee and crossed the border to the nation about nine months ago. I decided to escape the war and flee with my three children after my husband was shot by a sniper. The journey was long and arduous, but we managed to get to the nation in good health. Unfortunately, my daughter Dara has gone through a huge change since then. She used to be a very lively child. She really loved her dad, and she misses him a lot. She has not said a word since we left our home. She will neither speak to me, nor any of her siblings, or anyone else that I know of. I am really worried, and am desperately searching for help. Would this person not qualify for regular help under her normal job though? Doesn't seem so. Hi Andelka, you and your family have gone through a very rough time. Losing your husband, and then having to escape to a foreign country, must have been an extremely difficult experience for all of you. I would first and foremost advise you not to pressure your daughter. She needs time and space to process her grief and the changes you are all adjusting to. Try and give her as much attention as she needs and create an atmosphere in which she is heard if she chooses to speak, but also respected if she does not wish to. 
Openness and attentiveness are key. Now, I know that this is extremely hard for a single mother, especially since you have several children who will be adjusting in their own ways, not to mention that you yourself must deal with the massive life changes that have occurred. So take your time and try to deal with these issues one at a time. Also, remember that listening to your children is sometimes the best thing you can do. Sometimes maybe just having someone you can write to, who will listen to you, maybe that's a great help too. Single mother with multiple children, that's hard. Bill from Dewhurst. I bombed Triflith and I can't stop hearing the explosions. I served in the Pargesian War for one year and was then sent home because I was injured by a hand grenade. I was very lucky to survive, and though my hearing will never be 100% again, I was even luckier to get out of the war without any major issues. At least not physically. Ever since I got back from Parges, I have not slept through a single night. I still hear the explosions. When I was sent to the conflict zone, I was responsible for dropping the bombs on Triflith. I can't... Wait. Triflith? How close is that to Prava? Cause... You know, bombs and schools. Uh, I can't get over the damage that I have caused, and I don't really have anyone I can talk to. My family is very proud, and they never stop mentioning what a great national hero I am, but I don't feel like a hero. I feel like a murderer. Every night, I lay awake, wondering how many people I killed with my bombs. Were they terrorists? Were they just normal people living their lives, terrified of what was going on in their home? Did I kill any children? I don't know. All I know is that I wish I had never participated in this goddamn war. I wish I had realized that there would be no winners, only losers. Dear Bill, You have been through an extremely traumatizing situation, one that no amount of training could have prepared you for. Participating in war is an experience that is very much out of this world for us, especially when compared to our comfortable everyday lives. The acts of violence on the battlefield are an extreme contrast to the calmness of home life. It is common for soldiers to experience dissonance between the horrific acts of war and life back home. In your case, this is increased by your family's expectations who want to frame you as a heroic soldier, which is obviously making you very uncomfortable. My advice to you is to try to get long-term help from a psychotherapist who is experienced in treating soldiers. You must feel very isolated and alone right now, since you want to meet your family's expectations on the one hand, but you have a huge psychological burden of guilt on the other, which you should not carry alone. Molly I was flushed down the toilet of life by the government. I am a veteran of the army of the nation. My career was promising. I served for six years and was in charge of my own squad and was a well-respected combat engineer. I was dishonorably discharged in 2011, shortly after I went AWOL because of personal issues. I was sent back to the nation as deserter and flushed down the toilet of life by the administration of the army, the government, and their safety bill. Since then, I have been working in low-wage jobs, living in a crappy apartment in the industrial quarters and can hardly afford daycare for my son. After many years, I now realize that the causes I was fighting for in the army were an illusion. I don't want my son to grow up in a country that doesn't respect its own people. They have not only flushed me down the drain, but the whole country. This government sucked up all of my vitality, just to spit me out again. All I am left with is anger, and a huge urge to keep my son safe from all this bullshit. Dear Molly, First of all, thanks for reaching out to me. I know how hard this must have been for you. Although you feel you are up to your neck in defecation, to use your own metaphor, I believe you are actually handling this with a strong will. That strength protects you and your child from giving into this huge disappointment that you are currently experiencing. You feel betrayed by your country and you are angry that they sucked out all the life out of you just to abandon you after you dedicated six years of your life to them. But don't forget that you were responsible for climbing the ranks in the army, no one else. It was your dedication to the service and the skills you displayed that made you fit to have such a high position. While your army record may be a burden when looking for employment right now, you are clearly an intelligent woman who must persevere. I believe that your previous skills will eventually help you to get your life on track again. In the meantime, please stay in touch, and Molly, I will make sure you receive appropriate counseling. Since you are also from Bonton, I would like to offer you an opportunity to meet so that I can assess your case in person. Ah, okay, so the website, she can reach people who are further away, that's one benefit here too. 
But is that okay though? Because yeah, the whole safety bell thing. Well, she can still volunteer to help her for free. Because it seems like Karen really, really is passionate about this. Do we want this? Probably. Le is there anything else around on the site? 